What's up, pretty gang? It's your favorite method, Nail Tech Peaches, back with another video. And today, I have a freestyle for you guys. Yes, this set was completely freestyled. This client, she is one of my regulars, and I have chosen her and two other clients to be a nail model for me for the rest of the year, which means they don't get no control over their sets for the next couple of months, which I'm excited about. Now, this video today, I'm gonna show you, you know, some things a little bit different. We have some different angles we're working with, so I hope you guys enjoy that. As always, Nails by Pretty Face on Instagram. Subscribe, turn your notifications on, because if you look in, that means you like it, right? Um, all the links in the description have some coupon codes for you to save some money don't forget we got a not polished coupon code use it or lose it amazon storefront follow me on my personal page if you want to keep up with me okay so for today as you can see we're starting off a little bit different you guys have seen me do some of these techniques before so i thought why don't i film at a different angle for you guys so you could kind of see what it looks like like while i'm working okay so these duct tips are available in my amazon storefront I believe I have them in clear and in natural. These would be the natural color. This is not the full length of the tip that we're keeping here. We are trimming them a little bit, okay? So this is pretty much what it looks like, obviously, when I'm cutting the nail tips. I also wanted you guys to see, like, what wh what are we doing while I'm working, okay? Because everything we see is typically, like, pretty edited and stuff. You see everything pretty straightforward. Um, but with freestyles, right? Sometimes it takes a little bit of thinking. And although I love being creative, I love doing freestyles. I mean, sometimes sometimes a bitch be stumped. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I go into it thinking, well, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z and do not do X, Y, and Z. So for this set, as soon as she came in, right? And for freestyles, me personally, I consider that, hey, I don't know what I'm doing until you sit in the chair. I'm going to figure it out as I go. So I, I knew I wanted to do duckies on her. All right. And I knew that I wanted to do something pink. And I knew I wanted to do some sort of ombre and probably with charms, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much, you might as well just open it because it's already noisy. Just go on and open it. Go ahead. Oh. Okay, so um, yeah, so right here we are filing. If you need some extra help in any of these areas that I'm showing you guys, whether it's the filing and shaping, the application itself, or you know, what's going on with the bling i have very specific videos for each and every one so this is not like a tutorial tutorial i'm just kind of showing you how i work through in my head when i do freestyles so young nails protein bond we're going to do it two times because that's what the young nails say to do okay this one is pretty empty but as you can see we don't like to waste protein bond because this is 12 dollars a bottle well that's i get it at like a little bit more of a discounted rate my nail supply store because i'm licensed so listen we don't want to waste a drop and i already wasted half the bottle so you can see it looked kind of empty but just go on ahead with the second layer and you'll be okay so the clear that i'm using of course young nails i'm a young nails girl that's it and that's all we got young nails liquid and of course for the powder we are going to be using not polish because if it's not not polished not what yeah exactly nothing so here we go this is the point in time where i'm deciding what like what do i need what am i doing i'm talking to her she's like asking me like what you think you want to do and i'm like oh girl i don't exactly know but i might be thinking ombre but um let me look and see what i got so at this point you know i was well, thirsty okay apparently i was thirsty all right so we kind of chit chat and talking i do want y'all to know most of the sets i do are not going to take more than two and a half hours okay just because at the speed and the rate at which I work. So all this little pausing and talking and all of that stuff is included in that time. Everything, me recording from the rooted to the tutor, the time baby girl comes in to the time baby girl will leave and pay, that's two and a half hours, okay? So the actual full set itself, right, is probably only taking like, I don't know, let's say maybe an hour 45 of that if you really get into it and think about it, you know? So here I am, just looking stupid. Just, just trying to find my way through, trying to figure out a color, trying to find a concept, right? Because like I said, I knew I wanted pink and probably some sort of ombre, but I didn't know exactly what shade, where to go, you know? So when I was pulling it out, you know, my client, she was like, ooh, okay, okay. Even though it was literally just clear and pink or whatever. Um, and the color I use is Extra Kiss, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys, of course, a little bit closer up of how I do this. I'm not gonna lie. I need to get to work in seven minutes. I have to leave. So basically, I'm pretty much gonna cut it off in just a second, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip out to work, and I'm gonna finish it like somewhere in the middle of the day. But if you need help with 
a clear ombre, right? This is color to clear. I think I have a new to clear tutorial on my channel. I got that up there for you, okay? Just a pointer, a tip. Do not try and finish off this whole nail extremely wet because as you can see, there's a certain type of like beads you need. So it blends effortlessly down into the tip so it's not streaky. But in doing that, the types of like beads that you need are on the wetter side. Therefore, um, sometimes it basically like erases what you just did. So sometimes you're gonna have to stop and wait and you have to go back. So when you feel like mm, stuff is not matching up, oh, I can't do ombre, no, no, no. Wait a second, stop, wait, come back, okay? So honestly, I might actually just let y'all watch this and when I come back, it might be towards the end of like this because do y'all really need to hear me talk over this? Like y'all know what to do, right? Y'all know what to do. Anyways, my brush size is a size 20. So that kind of helps me with the ombre situation because I can get it done pretty quickly. 844, which means I'm supposed to be leaving in six minutes. Look, I gotta go to the toilet. I gotta wash my face. I gotta do everything. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here and I'll catch back up with you guys sometime. Sometime, okay? All right, y'all, I'm back. It is now Sunday, September 24th, um, 9, 19 a.m. It has been a full 24 hours. You guys, I have had a very busy day yesterday. So I'm back this morning before my next set of plans. So that way we can go on and finish this video. So I know I said that I wasn't gonna talk over this portion, but obviously here I am talking over this portion. Um, while I was deciding to go ahead and do this pink ombre, I did think in my head like, is this too basic, blah, blah, blah. But as I explained, um, the sets that this particular client is getting is a model set. I chose three other girls out of the people who decided to, you know, put in their bid on trying to be a nail model for the next couple months. And the sets that I'm doing are definitely priced at the $100 range, but um, they are only gonna be paying $90 flat. So in my head, I was like, you know what? This set would be acceptable. You know, once we get to the charm part, ombres um, I, are typically gonna be in the 70, 80 plus range, um, kind of depending on what's going on. So I was like, you know what? Let me feel confident. Let me go ahead and do what I'm doing. If you're a person that's asking for nail models, I definitely suggest that number one, make sure that the set is a discounted enough price that makes people feel comfortable in participating so they can step out of their box and feel like there's like no harm, no foul if they don't like it. And number two, make sure it the discounted rate at least matches somewhat of a rate that you would charge for something like this you know so uh that way it doesn't get too expensive on the client's end and so that way it doesn't basically um cheat you out of too much money on your end if that makes sense so i'm also keeping that in mind as i'm doing this set so i kind of decided like you know what let me just kind of keep the base simple and then we're gonna kind of give it the little razzle dazzle with the charms on top Okay, um, uh, one thing about my prices, I typically won't charge on exactly like maybe the look of it more so as the skill and time it takes to do it. So whereas so somebody else might charge an arm and a leg for an ombre set for me personally, it they're like very um, quick and for the most part pretty easy for me personally. So I don't I don't get too out of control uh, pricing with the ombre sets and now unless now okay and here goes final application unless they getting kind of crazy with you know you want to ombre on top of encapsulation and blah, blah 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 okay so here we go shaping and filing i am going to show you guys some files that will pop up on the screen something similar you can find on my amazon storefront i do use 80 i use 80 80 black files however because we did her feet first i think um i went ahead and decided to just keep on using the same file which in this case is an 8080 zebra file if you're not familiar with what 8080 means, that is the grit. 8080 is probably one of the strongest grits that you'll find. I haven't seen a grit that's lower than that. The lower the grit, the stronger the file. So I do not suggest, if you are shaping with files that are like um, 200, 180, honestly, it, you, I mean, you're gonna be there for a while if your application is not very solid, okay? those is, That's a last ditch emergency file, all right? Um, so you can see from this angle, this is how I pretty much get my shape. Basically, you want to do as least as possible with duckies. Minimum is better. So even you saw when shaping the tips, less is better. With shaping the actual nail after application, less is more, okay? It's better. Because the thing is, and this is no shade, no hate to nobody, I'm seeing a lot of people, they do their duckies and they're either very long and skinny or they're very short and um, like the tip, the flare of the tip 
is almost about even with the rest of the nail. Okay, to have a really nice ducky, and this is what clients tell me, they love the shape, they feel like it stands out, you wanna actually maintain that flare, you know what I'm saying? So if you overfile, you're gonna end up with like kind of what's gonna look like a poorly done square, and this is the filed results. And um, if you don't file enough, then you're probably gonna end up with a really chunky flare. So just a tip there for you. So in this instance, I knew I wanted to load up some charms on this one plain nail. For me personally, with charms, I charge anywhere between three to seven dollars um, per charm, depending on depending on what's going on, and sometimes even depending on the amount of work. But, but technically, I mean technically, usually I'm just charging a flat rate for the charms, and um, that's pretty much how I play that out. So I knew, I was like, okay, we're going to do pink and pink and pink. I knew I did not want to do the full entire nail charms, but I did want to do something fun. Now, you see, before I glue anything down, I like to go ahead and get my measurements right so I know what I'm doing. Wouldn't you believe that I still got this wrong? Like, I glued the gummy bear at an angle that wasn't exactly what I practiced the angle with. I'm gonna post the glue that I use. Everyone always asks me. This is me a secret glue resin. So it is the red one, which means it dries a it dries slower than the traditional nail glue. However, it is more about technique than the glue you use because I can use regular nail glue and make something shake in emergency situations, okay? Um, but I do have this link to my Amazon storefront as well. You just want to be careful with that because sometimes some of these like um like liquid products, I guess you could say on Amazon, sometimes depending on how long they've been in the warehouse or you know things like that sometimes they don't they dry out quicker than what they're supposed to so just be aware of that so i originally wanted to put a little kirby and then i was like well the way it's sitting with the gummy bear i don't, I don't know like some about it i wasn't quite feeling it and that's when i realized dang i kind of angled this a little wrong so for me personally like i always tell you guys we're not buying our products per customer we have our own collections that people can choose from so this is why I do have a nicely built up collection of charms which I just added to recently um, I'm in the process of purchasing some other things um, because right I'm noticing the more I do charms again and I'm doing this on these nail models other people are getting curious again which is exactly what I planned for so if something doesn't work out I always have something as a black backup plan I do have a good amount of charms linked in my Amazon storefront you guys you can get a lot of these gummy bears you can even get Hello Kitty charms um, flowers uh, a lot of like slime packs is kind of what they're called and they're like these plastic backed charms I have a lot of that linked in my Amazon storefront okay so check that for some good options and I will be updating it soon as well so I decided to go ahead and like okay let me keep this simple some of the small like small charms they only come so small you know what I'm saying so at this point I was like dang well this is what it's gonna be and at first I was kind of disappointed and I was like let me add something here or there and um, right now I'm kind of like sealing around the edges if you don't seal around your charms or your bling it's going to pop off and if you put blinger charms on top of top coat you guys it's more than likely not gonna work okay so I'm thinking about like man does this look so plain and blah 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 this that, and the other and you guys it's okay keep trying stuff out right try stuff out if you don't like it take it off as quickly as you can so you see I'm trying little things here but then in my head I'm like well I said I didn't want the whole background covered and I'm not trying to do a full full nail like this so play around with it this freestyle video is to show you guys that like I said even sometimes I'm kind of stumped and figuring it out but to me that's part of the fun of doing the freestyle I think a lot more clients are open to doing freestyles than we think I know in my case a lot of people because of Instagram they want like a physical picture reference because people are nervous of oh you know I don't know how I feel about charms or oh my previous experience blah 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 you know what I'm saying so when you explain to them like oh i want to do something in this realm blah, blah blah no just once you get people that are open to this start posting it and you'll be surprised with who comes in i wouldn't say make that your only content on your page because that can hinder people who are wanting to see like exactly what the core of your work looks like basic sets all that because that shows shape quality all that stuff you know what i'm saying but give it time you know this to me this is fun i'll be smiling and i'll be like who is gonna come out so cute so I love it so I decided to go ahead and add a Hello Kitty on the ring finger and I wanted to see like do I want to angle do I want to straight just play around with everything until you feel like you get the right um 
you get the right look you're going for, you know? And as I was doing this, my client was absolutely in love with how everything was looking. So I was very, 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 very excited. Um, and this day honestly came out so cute. This is her first time with duckies. Now, I went ahead and decided like, ooh, I wanna draw these hearts and blah, blah, blah. Sounded cuter in my head than what it was. Now this heart came out cute, right? So because this heart came out shaped nicely and really cute, I was like, okay, let me see what's shaping for the um, index finger. Like I said, don't be afraid to try stuff, even if it doesn't work out. Because clearly, I don't know what I thought I was doing, but I was like, let me just see. I, I just was in the mood to like draw a heart or whatever. So I did. And honestly, on the index finger, I wiped it off so quick because I'm like, girl, this, it, you, this is making it look childish. So I wiped it off and I was like, you know what? Nah, we're done. Even my client was like, oh, you know, the heart's just cute. I was like, mm it ain't cute enough like no this look throw it on this look mm -mm. no 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 so yeah this is this is pretty much um the final look i hope you guys enjoy this video this style of video these types of angles um i do intend on doing some more stuff like this just so you guys can see like what's going on so of course this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video